thirteenth International Physics Olympiad year one thousand nine hundred eighty two IPHO I offer private tutoring for Physics Olympiad preparation. I currently have openings. There is a discount for group classes. Message me if interested. My email is fred1996 at hotmail.com or you can use Skype name Edward F. 1996. Problem number one. Fluorescent lamp. An alternating voltage of 50 Hz frequency is applied to the fluorescent lamp shown in the accompanying circuit diagram. The following quantities are measured. Overall voltage main voltage U equal 228.5 volt. Electric current I equal 0.6 ampere. Partial voltage across the fluorescent lamp U prime equal 84 volt. Ohmic resistance of the series reactor RD equal 26.3 ohm. The fluorescent lamp itself may be considered as an ohmic resistor in the calculations. Question A. What is the inductance? L of the series reactor. Question B. What is the phase shift phi between voltage and current? Question C. What is the active power PW transformed by the apparatus? Question D. Apart from limiting the current, the series reactor has another important function name and uh, explain this function. Hint. The starter S includes a contact which uh, closes shortly after switching on the lamp, opens up again and uh, stays open. Question E. In the diagram with the quantitative time scale, sketch the time sequence of the luminous slugs emitted by the lamp. Question F. Why has the lamp to be ignited only once also the applied alternating voltage goes uh, through zero in regular intervals? Question G. According to the statement of the manufacturer for a fluorescent lamp of the described type, a capacitor of uh, about 4.7 microfarad can be switched in a series with the series reactor. How does uh, this affect the operation of the lamp and uh, to what intent is this uh, possibility provided for? Question H. Examine both halves of the displayed demonstrator lamp with the added spectroscope. Explain the differences between the two spectra. You may walk up to the lamp and uh, you may keep the spectroscope as a souvenir. 13th International Physics Olympiad year 1962 IPHO I offer private tutoring for Physics Olympiad preparation. I currently have openings. There is a discount for group classes. Message me if interested. My email is uh, fred1996 at hotmail.com and the uh, Skype name Edward F1996. Problem number two. Oscillating cold hanger. A suitable made uh, wire cold hanger can perform small amplitude oscillations in the plane of the figure around the equilibrium position shown. In positions uh, A and uh, B, the long side is horizontal. The other sides have equal length. The period of oscillation is the same in all cases. What is the location of center of mass? 
and how long is the period. The figure does not contain any information beyond the dimensions given. Nothing is uh, known. It means concerning the detailed dis distribution of mass. Thirteenth International Physics Olympiad, year 1962, IPHO. I offer private tutoring for Physics Olympiad preparation. I currently have openings. There is a discount for group classes. Message me if interested. My email is fred1996 at hotmail.com or Skype name Edward F1996. Problem number three. Hot air balloon. Consider a hot air balloon with a fixed volume VB equal 1.1 cubic meters. The mass of the balloon envelope, whose volume is uh, to be neglected in comparison to VB is MH equal 0 0.187 kg. The balloon shall the balloon shall be started where the external air temperature is theta one equal 20 degrees Celsius and the normal external air pressure is uh, P0 equal 1.013 multiplied by 10 power 5 Pascal. Under these uh, conditions the density of, of air is rho 1 equal 1.2 kg per cubic meter. Question A. What temperature theta 2 must the warm air inside the balloon have to make the balloon just float? Question B. First, the balloon is held fast to the ground and the internal air is uh, heated to a steady state temperature of uh, theta 3 equal 110 degrees Celsius. The balloon is uh, fastened with the rope. Calculate the force on the rope. Question C. Consider the balloon being tied up at the bottom. The density of the internal air stays constant. With the steady state temperature theta 3 equal 110 degrees Celsius of the internal air, the balloon rises in an isothermal atmosphere of uh, 20 degrees Celsius and the ground pressure of uh, 1.013 multiplied by 10 power 5 Pascal. Which height h can be gained by the balloon under these conditions? Question D. At the height h, the balloon Question C is uh, pulled out of its uh, equilibrium position by 10 meters and then is uh, released again. Find out by qualitative reasoning what kind of motion it is uh, going to perform. Question D. 